little intro, um, and then we'll get started with the presentation. Good evening. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Amanda Fondoy. I represent um, District 4, which some of this district did take in the redistricting, Balacito and parts of Douglas Flat. Um, I am here to represent Martin tonight. Um, I think he's not available to be here. He had other commitments. Um, but I uh, wanted to introduce these two lovely ladies. Um, she, they have been um, working very hard on this plan with the Board of Supervisors and the Park and Rec Commission, um, along with our county staff. Um, and we have a couple county staff members here. We have our CEO, Teresa Hitchcock, and we also have Jamie in the back. Um, they have been working really hard with staff and, and both boards um, to get this um, not just this plan in front of the community, but also these town halls that are um, happening across the county. Um, we had an each town hall across the county. It's been the same presentation. Um, obviously, each community had a different need, had a different asset, had um, different um, niches, but the goal of this plan, um, coming from the Board of Supervisors, is we really want to do a collective across the county to see what is out there, what the county actually owns, what the county doesn't own, so we can work in partnership with those groups. So whether those groups might be Phoebe Polk, even though that's not a county facility, we want to have that dialogue, make sure those things are mentioned, so we can have a path forward to collaborate to keep these amenities um, for the public. Uh, because they do bring assets, um, not just locally, but also regionally across the county. The other part of this plan um, that is it's not a step plan, think of this as a live plan. So this is a living document that has the opportunity to be changed. Similar to the strategic plan that the county adopted a couple years ago, this is exactly what this plan is. So, your feedback is really important, so that way when the Board of Supervisors is going through these things, I really need to shift with the community needs, we have that input. Um, and we'll probably be going back out to the public um, again for that input. Um, so for those of you that um, may represent other um, private park entities or other amenities that, um, especially on this part of the corridor, we have a lot of state, federal, um, we're looking for that partnership. So your feedback is just as important as it is for the rest of the community members um, on the county um, facilities. One of the priorities of the Board of Supervisors also is we know that we have not invested in our capital, in our maintenance of existing county-owned facilities. So this really will be the path forward because without this plan, we're not able to apply for grants. So for those of you that may live in the ground world, you know that you have to have a plan, you have to have goals, um, and this will help us apply for those funding in the future. Um, and it can be anything, but without this, we have nothing to move forward. So um, it doesn't mean that in five years we can't change what the goal set and the benchmarks are, but we need a place to start now because we recognize that we need to put those investments there. Um, it's not just for you in this room that live here, but this is, especially in the Murphy's area, towards the destination. So we need to make sure that we're providing those services to continue to support the tourism and investments of, this, of these communities as well. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to um, these ladies and they will kick off the, plant, the presentation for the master plan. Thank you all for taking your time to be here tonight. We appreciate it. All right, well, in addition, in addition to the county folks that are here, um, my name is Karen. I'm a project manager and a park planner. Um, with Odell. Uh, the name of our company is Odell. Uh, Beverly Lee is also a planning specialist working on this uh, park plan. We've done several of these. This question has been asked several times, so I wanted to share. We've done uh, park master plans um, for Stanislaus County, for Tuolumne River, um, Stockton, Scotts Valley. Um, we have a long history of doing park master plans, a lot of experience throughout the, um, the, throughout the state. 
Um, and as we do these, part of it is getting to know each community because each community is very special. Calgary Ferris County is very different than Stanislaus County, even though you're somewhat neighbors. Um, so that's part of what this outreach is for, is for us to be here to hear um, from you what your needs are, what you would like to see in the county. Um, a few, before we get moving too far ahead, a few housekeeping things. We are, this is being filmed um, for PATV. Um, we're asking that you hold all questions till the end of the presentation. We will have a, uh, what I call a walkabout at the end where we'll have an informal session um, where we can walk around the boards and that's when you can ask your questions. Uh, I think that some of your questions will be answered in the presentation. Um, and at that time during the walkabout, you'll have the opportunity to ask one-on-one, -on -one, you know, specific questions to us and folks from the county as well. Um, with that, let's dig into it. This is a quick agenda, so you know what's coming up. Uh, we're going to go over what a parks master plan is. Um, not everybody is familiar with this planning process, um, so I wanted to share that. Then a timeline, we have a snapshot of the county. Um, again, a lot of folks have lived here their whole lives, and some have just moved here, so a little bit of information about the county itself. Uh, and then we talk a little bit about these interactive polling boards and um, what the next steps are gonna be. And then at that time, we all get to get up, seventh inning stretch, walk around, and that's when you can ask your questions. So to start with, the role of parks and recreation, um, improving quality of life, health and well-being. We all found this parks were so important during the pandemic when nobody could get out. Um, but parks were available to get out, see the green forest and the waterways, and really relax us. I've done so many studies on this where it actually reduces your blood pressure, makes your life better. Um, not only for us adults, but also for children. It's so important to, for them to get out in nature. Um, it also provides, parks also provide opportunities for gathering, for community gathering spaces, and this is really important for those for folks that move into the community who need to meet people, um, as well as those who have lived here a long time and, and like to get together with their friends and family and just, just gather. Um, lastly, protecting, maintaining, and restoring our natural resources, keeping uh, plenty of trees around, uh, making sure that um, everything is protected from our, um, our pollinator gardens to um, other important things in nature. So why did we do the Parks Master Plan? Um, this was, uh, the general plan for the county was adopted in 2020, and it stated that a Parks Master Plan needed to be created, and um, these are just three of the um, action items that that general plan included. Um, one was to maintain an inventory, so that is part of what our Parks Master Plan will have. We've gone through, uh, the county and inventory the parks. Um, we will include that in the parks master plan. Uh, that is the second step adopting the parks master plan. So once we're done with this process, and I'll go more into the process later, but once we're done with this, it goes to the board of supervisors to be adopted. Um, so with that, we're, we're checking off another one of the general plan um, uh, action items. And then lastly, it's really important for pursuing funding and support for local parks. Um, through this, especially through the survey, um, we decide what needs the county has throughout. We do a needs assessment, and um, that allows us, that and a lot of the research we do allows us to determine where parks are needed, what parks need ma additional maintenance, all a slew of items that we can be looking at. Um, but most importantly, they will also give us the opportunity to um, go after grants for funding. And um, for those, a lot of the grant applications require a parks master plan to be in place. Just like you would do a, a work plan or a business plan before you start off on a big adventure, this is what we're doing here. This is the first step in a big adventure. Um, so with that, The goal specific to this community's park master plan is to hear from the community. And I'm so thankful that you're all here to share your thoughts. Um, but this is where it's really important because we want to hear from you 
um, what your needs are. Like I said, your needs are going to be different than Stockton's or Scotts Valley. I mean, this is a special community. You have um, different different areas within the um, county that have different needs, and that's what we're here to do: is to listen to you, share those thoughts. We also will be developing best practices and guidelines. We do this through our research on um, national parks, um, state parks, what's trending in recreation, which kind of leads to the next uh, item, current and future trends. There's some things right now that are really trending. Um, it's different sports like uh, flag football, for instance, is trending upwards. And some are trending downwards. People just don't play them anymore. So we wouldn't want to put money into a um, a facility that has um, a sport that nobody's really playing anymore. So um, those are the, that's kind of some of the research that we do. Uh, and then for that, we with all that, we create the steps for um, the path for future planning. Like I mentioned, we put all this information together and uh, create this planning document that will have action plan um, items to move forward. Another way to put all that is uh, my squirrel and his little trail. Uh, we did a project kickoff in the fall. Um, we've done the re some of the research. We're continuing to do research. I heard a lot of things today about different communities, different parks, and we'll continue to do this research. Um, we are assessing the parks. Um, Beverly's been out to all of the county-owned parks and, has, and a few of the non-county-owned parks. And, checked out the condition, you know, are the benches worn, or are they brand new, picnic tables need replacing, or do they look great, things like that. Um, and then we started the survey about three weeks ago, so we've gotten quite a few responses. We're real happy about that. We could always use more, so please do the survey. And um, these community outreach meetings, this is, uh, we have one more, um, two more meetings tomorrow, and we've been to every district. Um, so we've gotten to know the, the Calaveras County communities um, pretty well. Um, of course, there's a lot more to discover, but I, I feel like um, it's really been fun. Um, so after that, we look at the recreation trends. Like I said, national, state, um, we use Sports Fitness Association, we use the National Parks um, Association and the California Parks and Rec so Society. Uh, in addition to others, I mean, there's a long list, so I won't go through all that, but we look at the, we do all the research on the trends, we research um, similar counties with, uh, that are rural, like yours, um, Tuolumne, Amador, um, a, a couple others, we have about five that we're looking at, we look at the demographics of that and compare them and see how they're doing their parks. So that's part of our research, as well as funding options. Um, we have one specialist that works just on the financial aspect, and he is really good at finding um, little things that, that an agency can do to um, find funds that can actually be put towards these parks. Um, there, are several, there are several tools. Um, one of them might be doing some partnerships here in this county, and another might be um, starting a parks and rec department. Um, but we're doing all that research now. It's not done, and we continue to get input. So, uh, but at the end of the day, we're going to have a parks master plan um, that will have an implementation or action plan. So it'll be a list of one, two, three. These are the most important things that are needed that we heard from the community. Um, and then second, third, fourth, and it may be you know as long as forty or hundred, depending on what needs we hear. And. Um, talked about the funding option. The needs assessment is based on our research, those benchmarks, um, and your input, and the survey as well. So um, with that, I'm gonna quickly go through the timeline, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the survey data. The timeline, this is just a linear um, calendar, really, we started in the fall. Um, we've been doing a lot of research and data collection. We're doing the public outreach meetings, like I mentioned, and then we'll move into the master plan preparation, and the final document will go to the Board of uh, Supervisors by December. I think we're on track to get it to them sooner, um, but that is the original schedule to have it by the end of the year. So a little bit about the county for those of you who haven't lived here. 
forever, like <laughs> many. Um, the population from the 2020 census is a little over 45,000. We've got the five districts in the county. Uh, there is a Parks and Recreation Commission. Um, there are many diverse parks and facilities that are county owned and non-county owned. Some are public and some are private. We want to focus on the ones that are available to the public and not the private where you have to pay to get in. Um, but we are looking at those. They're very diverse uh, activities, recreation activities. And those opportunities are also there for residents as well as tourists. So especially Murphy's, I'm hearing a lot of tourists come here. Um, so that becomes an economic driver, which is really critical for us to understand. Um, but we've also heard that each district has very unique needs. There is a lot going on in the, what we've learned is there's a lot going on in the four corridor. Um, but uh, for instance, Valley Springs doesn't, doesn't have a park. So those are the kinds of things we're hearing, we're documenting and we'll be using that research to analyze what the needs for the county and each district are. Uh, these are the five county-owned parks. We're showing those because they are county-owned property, so there's a little bit more leeway in what we can do with these five county-owned parks. Um, there's a board over here um, that Beverly will go into in a bit, but it has some non-county-owned parks that we've heard are very popular. So Nielsen Park, uh, Alex Q are in San Andreas, Mountain Ranch and uh, Railroad Cloud are in, um, well, up, the, uh, up here. And then Murphy's, you have right here, you probably all know about Murphy's. So with that, I'm gonna hand it off to Beverly who will talk about um, our outreach tonight and what to expect. Thanks, Karen. Um, so, I saw a lot of you pick up a survey while coming in. I saw a lot of you filling it out. So thank you so much. Um, the survey is really important. Um, that's one way for you all to provide your input. But coming to this meeting is another great way for you to tell us what it is you need, what you see is lacking in the county, whether it's county owned or other public parks. Um, so um, if you haven't noticed, we have a couple boards around the room. Um, so those are a couple other opportunities for you to provide some input. Um, we have some boards over here on your right side, um, there are dot boards, and we'll provide you some dots. And they have a lot of different recreation opportunities on them, whether that's you know, water skiing, canoeing, camping, hiking, um, baseball, soccer, a lot of different various um, recreation opportunities for you all um, to vote on. Um, so in a little bit, when we do our walkabout, um, if you would like to provide your input, um, please feel free to go up there and put a dot in the green box. We also have a couple open-ended questions at the back of the room, um, just to ask if you felt like you had some other comments um, that, we, that weren't for questions that weren't addressed uh, well, in our presentation, um, and if one of us was occupied, you know, feel free to go over to the back there. There's some post-it notes for you to write down your thoughts. Um, and I'll go over some of the questions we have at the back of the room. Um, so, just a quick um, glimpse of what kind of what we do with all this information we gather from you all um, is in the document we analyze it um, one in a county level and then two on a district level. So we break it down and we see well, what each district has been saying their needs are, as well as looking at uh, countywide. You know, um, there are some common themes that we can see in each district that is needed. Um, so this is kind of uh, an example of what you'll see in the document. Um, you know, in the bottom right-hand corner, it'll clearly list, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, top recreation needs or top outdoor activities. Um, we have a couple questions in there about the importance and satisfaction of certain <coughs> elements um, when it pertains to parks and recreation. Um, and that, that really helps us really easily identify what the needs are in the community. I'm sure you don't want to read over 300 surveys to kind of figure out um, you know what it is that you all need. So we do that on your behalf and uh, easily portray it in the document. Um, and with that, um, I'm going to briefly go over some of the boards that we have around the room um, and then we can go ahead and break into our walkabout um, and questions. Um, so this here is our uh, parks map board. Um, you'll see here in red are the five county owned parks that Karen mentioned earlier. And I'm sure you all know there are other public parks out there. 
um, which we've named some of them and showed some of them here in the green, but there's just so many out there that we haven't put them all on the board. Um, so if it's not up there, definitely let us know if you go to them, what you like about them. There's a question um, at the back there about other public parks. Um, as Trim mentioned, I did go out to all the parks last November um, and walked around, inventory them all. It was a nice break from the office. Mm -hmm. um, so these are some pictures that were taken out there. Um, another board with uh, some pictures from the parks. Um, so like I mentioned, there are some thought boards, the ones over there on your right. Um, so you'll see here, what, which recreation opportunities would you like to see? A lot of different um, options for each you all. Um, they're kind of categorized kind of for they're, they're categorized a little bit. Um, this is kind of more outdoorsy. There's uh, mountain biking trails, equestrian trails, camping RV. Um, this board right here is a little bit more geared more towards sports. So if you would like, you know, like a pump track or more transports, go ahead and put a dot there. And, and we just ask that you try and get your dots in here so we don't uh, put the dots all over the picture and then other folks can't see. <laughs> We've had that happen. Uh, so this one covers a little bit more sports and also um, water-related activities. Uh, and so we kind of categorize that by um, motorized and non-motorized. Um, non-motorized being all your canoeing, stand-up paddleboard, kayaking, things like that. And then motorized, of course, water skiing, boating. Um, motorized boating. And then lastly, we have one that's a little bit geared more towards social gathering spaces. Um, some of them do overlap a little bit, um, but there's a bit of a distinction between you know large picnic area and spaces for family, <coughs> family and friends um, that could look a little bit different. Um, there's outdoor stage, event plaza, amphitheaters, um, so a lot of different options out there. And again, if there's something that you would like to see but it's not up on the board, please feel free to go let us know or go to the boards at the back and write it down and post it. Uh, so, the boards at the back, um, we have a couple questions. Um, this one is, would you like to see recreation programs from the county, and if so, which ones would you like to see? This one is, which county parks have you visited? Um, so these would be the five that we mentioned before, uh, Nielsen, Abs, Q, Murphy's, Mountain Ranch, and Rainbow Flat. Um, and let us know what you think about them. And then this one here is about what kind of improvements you would like to see at those five county parks specifically. And then this board right here, which non-county parks have you visited? So these, this would encompass all other parks that are, were not listed um, on the five earlier, um, whether that's White Pines, um, Feeney's, um, Utica, all the other ones. So it's your opportunity to, if you have any thoughts specific to one of those other parks, um, you can put it on a post here. And a lot of these questions are in the survey. This is kind of just a glimpse of what's in the survey um, and an opportunity for you to share in a different way. Um, so those are all the boards. Um, but before we get into our little walkabout, um, again, we have the survey open. Um, it's open till the 25th of April. Um, if you don't fill it out here in person, it is online um, at this website, or you can come and scan the QR code here. Um, and we also have a website for this Parks Master Plan project, where we'll be posting up information. You can also access the survey there as well. Um, and we do have an email address at this website uh, for you to provide any additional comments. Maybe, you know, at um, over the weekend, you kind of think over things and you're like, oh, I didn't mention this at the meeting or I, didn't, I took the survey already. You can go ahead and email that. Um, email, the email, um, send an email um, to us at that um, address there. Um, so that's it. That's our presentation. Um, now is the time for everybody to put on some dots on the boards. Um, Share your thoughts there. If you do fill out the survey tonight, um, please hand it to one of us so that we can input it into the computer when we get back to the office. All right.
Oh, is everybody here?